welcome back to yet again another video of mine. You're watching Amun here on Tall Beauty. So firstly, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who is supporting me and everyone who is watching my videos and everybody who is giving me a thumbs up. You don't understand how much I appreciate the fact that you guys are supporting me just by watching my videos. It honestly means a lot. So I wanted to do something because I felt like I was very irregular on YouTube and I felt like my I was very inconsistent on YouTube and uploading videos so I wanted to do something very challenging and really challenge myself so I wanted to put up a video on YouTube every single day of you know December up until Christmas day so here I am always filming for you guys and trying to get some videos out there for you guys so honestly it means a lot and if you are a newbie watching my video today then be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well but in today's video as the title says I am going to be doing a winter skincare routine what I basically do throughout the kind of winter period I would say this is kind of the autumn winter period what I basically do to my face just to make sure it still stays healthy it doesn't dry up too much so without any further ado let's get into the video okay so firstly this part is always like oh because you're taking off your makeup actually you know what this can also be very relaxing as well I do like having a big full face of makeup um, I just love taking pictures and so on but now let's uh, tie up our hair and get removing so I'm actually wearing extensions so I probably should take my extensions out of my hair that's another video I want to film for you guys. I want to film a video all about my hair care routine and just about what I do to my hair, how I keep that healthy during the uh, winter as well. And I don't know whether you guys know or actually feel the same way as what I feel, but I feel like since I dyed my hair back to my kind of natural colour, I feel like my hair is looking so healthy and I'm actually really happy with the way my hair is currently doing and like I said it's just so healthy so I'm just loving that aspect. So firstly I'm going to remove my lashes, oh, I love it, I love the feeling of removing the lashes. Second I'm going to take this, so this is just some RTC coconut oil. It's just any kind of typical coconut oil that you guys can get from your local supermarket or wherever it is that you guys want to go and get some. It's just um, normal coconut oil. I'm just going to take the oil in my hand. The easiest thing to do is actually put this oil into a container and put it into the microwave just to warm it up. Um, that would be the absolute ideal way to get this oil. But um, I just wanted to sit here in my beauty room and I don't actually have a microwave here so I've just taken some into the palms of my hand and I'm just literally you don't actually need a lot but I'm literally just going to start massaging this into my face so this works really well as a substitute for makeup remover you can just use this everywhere just to remove all of your makeup and it's just so much more healthier because you don't know what kind of chemicals go into the makeup removers i always tend to use coconut oil just to remove all of my makeup and as you guys can see it's really just working its way in and it's really just taking all of that makeup off i'm just gonna really get in underneath my chin as well and then I am just going to use some makeup wipes and just using some of these wipes I'm just going to wipe all of my face and just take off all of that oil. And there you go, your face is all nice and clean, which is um, what you want. And all of your makeup removed without using any kind of makeup removers. So, I mean, even though I did use the wipe, but literally you can just use a normal flannel, but I just chose to use a wet wipe because that was just what was closest to me. But like I said, you can even just use a flannel with some hot water. 
that will be absolutely perfect as well but that has all you know taken off all of my makeup now what I like to do and I only do this about uh, two times a week so I mean usually every single day I take off my makeup with the coconut oil and all of the other steps which I follow I also do every single day but twice a week I do like to take some time out and I do like to apply a mask just to hydrate my face and just to get all of that hydration and the glowiness back into my face especially when i feel like around this kind of festive season we do apply a lot of makeup we're always out and about so i feel like we are constantly wearing makeup so I do like to go in with some masks during the week as well. So you guys can use any mask which you guys want, whatever is suited to your face, whatever you guys feel works really well with your face. But in today's video, I will be using this one here. So this is by Sephora. So this is the mattifying and anti-blemish face mask. This is a green tea face mask. So I am just going to apply this. So this is actually a peel off mask. I can open it just kind of being careful because I don't want it to uh, break here we are I'm just going to peel away the other part and I'm just going to pop this onto my face So now that the mask is on, I really cannot talk with this on, but now that the mask is on, I am going to go away for 15 minutes. So I'm just gonna find something useful to do. So I'm actually gonna go and edit some of the footage of there you go that's better so i'm actually gonna go and edit some footage of one of my videos and i will be back in 15 minutes hopefully i can talk better when i come but yeah okay guys so i have come back it's actually been more than 15 minutes i'd say it's been about 25 minutes i just got busy with my video but i'm now going to take off the mask feels so nice and relaxing but now that I have taken off my mask give me two minutes I'm just going to go and wash my face or as Ed the power of editing I'll be back in the next second okay so now that I have washed my face I'm just going to do the kind of aftercare and just to kind of really hydrate my skin and make sure it's all nice for the rest of the evening rest of the day so you know you don't have to have this routine just before you are going to bed you can also do this in the morning before you're going to apply some more makeup so you can always just wash your face apply some oil wash your face and then do the hydration process and then get going with your makeup so it's entirely up to you so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to be using this revita lift l'oreal serum so this is a hydrating serum so you guys may have noticed in many of my previous videos as well and this is why you guys can tell this is honestly my honest opinion because I use the same products again and again it's honestly because I truly love them so much so usually I use this with the eye cream and the aloe water but recently my aloe water finished and since then I just haven't been back to get myself another bottle so I'm just going to open this up so I'm just going to take this out and I'm just going to put two drops onto the cheeks. I'm going to put a drop on the forehead and then just using my fingers, I'm just simply going to push this and massage this into the skin. So I'm actually going to leave this a little wet because I don't want to put everything and basically I don't want to take all the product into my fingers. I do want some of the product to set into my face. As you guys can see, it's made my face really nice nice and hydrated I can just feel the hydration and I can just feel the glowiness as well and that is the thing around this winter time you really need to make sure you keep your skin super hydrated and super kind of locked in and you keep all of these natural oils and all of these serums in your face as well because around this winter time 
I just feel like you can break out so easily and I feel like your skin can dry out really easily as well. So for the next thing whilst that is just setting into place I'm just going to apply a lip balm. Now you don't have to apply any kind of expensive or so and so lip balms. I just go in for a simple one and I always use Carmax. I think this is the holy grail around this winter time. It really saves me a lot of pennies, you know, rather than getting all these expensive products and it just works so well on my lips. Carmax is the only thing which saves my lips when they are super chapped and it's the only thing which keeps them really nice and hydrated. So I'm just going to apply a super generous amount. I do go in with extra just because I feel like I really, really want my lips to be hydrated and I really want them to feel nice as well. And just keep them really nice and hydrated. Again, if you are using matte liquid lipsticks, Carmax works really well. So before you start doing your makeup, when you have just applied your moisturising cream, I think Carmax always works out the best. So I would definitely give that a go. So the next thing which I am using is this. So this is just some Vaseline Cocoa Radiant with Pure Cocoa Butter. And this heals dry skin to reveal its natural glow. This is why I said I haven't gone back to get the aloe water because I feel like this one is really hydrating and it really makes your skin look glowy as well. And it has the cocoa butter in there and it is made for dry skin. So like I said, I don't really have a lot of dry skin, but that's only because I've been preventing my dry skin by using all of these products and just using the care which I am using. So I'm just going to apply a gentle amount onto my fingers and then I'm just going to rub this into my face. As I'm just rubbing my face, I can just feel all of that softness and just gently massaging my face. But I can just feel how soft and how kind of healthier my skin feels. So like I said, you don't have to do this kind of routine just during the night. You can always reverse and you can always do this when you are about to apply your makeup when you wake up in the morning the first thing you guys can do is just apply your serum apply whatever moisturizer cream you want to apply apply some eye cream as well my eye cream is currently finished but i do use the l'oreal revita lift eye cream as well but apply some eye cream and then apply some carmax or whatever it is to your lips just keep entire face hydrated but that is it guys and that was it for this video so i really hope you guys enjoyed this and if you did then don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and also don't forget if you haven't already subscribed to my channel then the subscribe button is down below so get down below and just hit the subscribe button and to help the tall beauty family grow even more but that is it guys and hopefully i will see you in my next one bye guys